Hello, everyone. Today, I'm sharing with you the communication between codices and the CN eight thousand and thirty four. First, we prepare the EDS file of CN eight thousand and thirty four on the desktop. Double click to open the codices file. Okay, let's build a new project. Here we choose the standard project, then choose the name and path as you like. After coming, we first drive our soft PLC. After driving, our soft PLC will turn into red and green. Then we double click on device. Scan network. Click for my own computer. Click OK. The name and password I enter in is my own computer name and password. Left click to select, then right click to select add device. Then we choose the Ethernet adapter, then choose Ethernet. We double click on Ethernet. In the general column, we choose our network card. The default IP address of our CN8034 is 192.168.1.10. Then we choose our network card on the CN network segment. We left click and select Ethernet. Select add device. We choose the Ethernet IP. Choose Ethernet IP scanner. Then we choose Ethernet IP. Right click and choose scan for devices. Okay, here is the prompt that the device can't be found in the library. Then we close the window, select tools, select device repository, click to install. This is the EDS file we prepared on the desktop in advance. Click open, show here that it has been successfully installed. Let's click generate code. Then we search for devices again. Click scan for devices. Okay, here we can see the CN8034 has been scanned. Then we choose to copy to the project. We double click CN8034, select Ethernet IP mapping. Here we can see the address of our IO modules. Here we choose the enable one, choose to generate code and compile it.
Then we choose login. Choose to start. This is our queue point output. Here we can see the software shows that our queue point has no output and our module itself also has no output. We are here to give them all compassion. At first, we force the first channel and the second channel. The shortcut is to hold down the control and the F7. You can see that the software shows that it has output and it also shows output on our hardware. We go on to course two values. Well, in terms of software and hardware, you can see they are synchronized. We go on to course another two values. Okay, now the first eight channels are neat, and the first eight nights of our devices are all on. Then, here we put them off. Okay, now you can see that our first eight channels are all off, and the first eight nights of our devices are all off too. This means that our communication is normal. Okay, that's all for today's sharing. Thank you.